Waiting for the green flag, which is waved now. So it's eyes to the gantry time. The red lights about to come on. When they go out, we'll be racing here at Spa. The lights are on. The revs rise and away we go. It's a poor start from Nelson Mason. It's a wretched start from Vicky Piria and Sandy Stuvik, though, able to convert the advantage. It's Mason who will turn in to the source in second position, up to third place has come Alexander Toro. So it's Ed Jones of the immediate front runners who's come out of it badly, and Vicky Piria as well has suffered slightly, but Jones has found his way already back into third position as they plunge down towards Eau Rouge for the first time. So it's Sandy Stubik who leads, Nelson Mason second, Ed Jones third, Alexander Torrell it is in fourth. And then in fifth place is Vicky Piri looking to fight back as they all take advantage of the slipstream coming out of Radion and down the Kemmel Strait. And Sandy Stubik having to defend on both sides from the Team West Tech cars. It's Jones to the inside, Mason to the outside. It's Ed Jones who takes the lead of the race into they come. And over he goes in the back of the shot. And that is Santiago Urrutia, it would appear, who's been launched. And the car inverted, bumping across. Yes, it is Urrutia's car, so the RP Motorsport driver third in the championship standings locking wheels and that may well well there is the good news Santiago Urrutia out of the car and hopping away but that was a high speed roll for Urrutia and is that going to bring out the safety car suspect it might do indeed it does so the race getting itself underway immediately brought under pause and it all got very very busy into they come for the first time and there's more incidents behind and as the car's thrown behind the safety car, we've cut away and a very, very nasty accident. It would appear behind the safety car, one of the cars involved launched into a multiple barrel roll and it was the cars in the back of the field not realising the safety car boards had come out. And I think it's possibly Nicholas Polar in the DAV car that had the worst of that. that and the race, unsurprisingly, has been stopped. The track has been completely blocked and here we see it again and they all slowed down they found out looking for space and you can see it's one of the DAV cars absolutely launched into the air unfortunately the number has of course been ripped off and, and then subsequent contact from another car and so a very very nasty incident that has brought the race to a halt this is the incident that originally brought out the safety car it all just got very busy into and they come for the first time and just interlocking wheels and it was Santiago Urrutia who got flipped into the air and Urrutia out of his car, he has walked away. Standing the car won't be in a position for the restart. Fortunately, he is uninjured. We will, and most importantly, the, the driver, I think it was Polar, that was pitched into that horrific barrel roll, is out of the car and would appear to have walked away Cameron Twynham, another of the drivers who was caught up in that, as was Trino Rojas as well. And in an instant of that severity, the most important thing is to see the drivers walking away. The, the damage can be dealt with, but in particular it was the DAV car of Nicholas Polar that was uh, the one that caused the most concern because not only was the car launched into multiple barrel roll, it was then impacted by another car just as it had uh, come to rest. But you can see Polar, not unsurprisingly, being escorted to the medical car to uh, get checked over. But that he got out of the car under his own steam is incredible. So let's see how it all unfolded. Twynham was impacting. It was Polar who got launched into the air and the car rolling I make that seven or eight tons, but here is the, the very nasty bit when a, another car coming to halt makes further contact, launches the car into the air and very, very pleasing to see that the German driver escaped from that uninjured. This is the Santiago Urrutia incident. The car flipped, I think, by Yarin Stern. It was who just brushed wheels with Uruguay. We also saw Vicky Piria come into trouble, Ed Jones and Sandy Stuvik also got involved in the mess. So this is not going to be the work of a moment for the marshals and circuit staff here at Spa to recover all the cars that have been involved. The other driver involved, I suspect, is Valeria Carbaya.